guys. Today we're talking about being afraid. Who ever gets afraid? I know I do sometimes. And a lot of other people right now are afraid with everything that's going on. I know that Caitlin gets afraid about stuff, and I'm sure Mary does too. Um, so, Caitlin, read this verse for me. God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid. He gave us a spirit of power and love and self-control. 2 Timothy 1, verse 7. Okay. So, God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid. He gave us a spirit of power and self-control. Have you ever thought your parents or teachers had eyes in the back of their heads? Because they seem to see everything, right? We actually do. <laughs> but really, nobody has eyes in their back of their head. Um, but God did make something that does seem to have eyes in the back of its head. This is called the owl butterfly. Y'all see how it kind of looks like an owl with its two eyes there? Isn't that neat? But really, those aren't really eyes. They're just part of the butterfly to make it look like eyes. And God put them there so that when predators are going after this butterfly, trying to eat it like a bird or something, they'll see that and they'll get scared because they'll think it's an owl. So they'll go away. And God made that butterfly just that way. God gave the owl butterfly a unique way to chase away its fear, its fear of being eaten, that is. When you decide to follow God, he chases away your fears, too. In fact, there are some things you'll never have to be scared of again. Things like being alone, because God will never leave you. You don't have to fear making mistakes because he'll always help you and forgive you when you ask. And best of all, you'll never have to worry that God will stop loving you because he won't, not ever. Not for a single nanosecond, which is a billionth of a second, by the way. So the next time you're feeling a little scared, remember who you are a child of God, and God chases away all of our fears. 